Tuesday night, an unknown number of students and outside protesters remain barricaded inside of the PSU library. Now, here on the campus grounds, things remain relatively calm despite a large number of people actually gathered on the steps outside of the library. Now, back inside the library, the protesters say they will not stand down until their demands are met. With classes canceled Tuesday, much of the Portland State campus kept quiet. But for activities centered around the library, occupied by pro-Palestinian protesters. They're sending a good message out and I hope that it's received. Among demands from students at PSU, they want the university to cut ties with Boeing who they say supplies weapons to Israel. That, along with a broader call for an end to the violence in Gaza. Protests of the Israel-Hamas war. It's a situation that had been simmering for decades, and it exploded on last year. Reminding some, like Doug Weiskopf, of past student movements. On Monday, he visited the UCLA campus near his California home in hopes of sharing his unique anti-war perspective from 1970. On May 4th, the Kent State students were shot, 13 wounded, four dead. And that's when everything exploded on 450 campuses in America. And we joined the, with the national student strike and shut down Portland State for a week. Then came the clash between the Portland Tactical Police Squad and peaceful student activists protesting the Vietnam War. And up to this point, Weiskopf says their tactics were clear. He told the kids, don't insult people as they walk by, and if they argue with you, just stay cool. Don't do any spray painting or breaking windows, and everybody's going to just, when this is over, we want to be able to say that we that we've conducted ourselves with, with, with honor and decency. Their actions commemorated two years back, and only one block from the current demonstration. Weiskopf fears some here and on other campuses may be smothering their message amid reports of vandalism and anti-Semitism. That's what it takes is organization and discipline you know, and, and a commitment to, to, to principled protest principal nonviolent protests. So far, the situation at the library has remained nonviolent, although we have heard that some Jewish students have felt harassed or intimidated by these demonstrations. Now, the university president, Ann Cudd, has said once again that she would like the protesters inside of the library to vacate and the students to voluntarily leave, although we are unclear if and when Portland police plan to enter the library and remove the protesters. In Southwest Portland, Alma McCarty, KGW News.